Hey guys, Swabbleek here today and welcome back to Cities Skylines. So we are starting this video off with another time lapse. 13 minutes in if you want to skip it and just go to the rest of the video. But we're working on getting the monorail line to get to the other side of the bay. I get, yeah, it is a bay. To get it to the other side of the bay, uh, like I said, I wanted it to go underneath this bridge. So I'm just doing a bunch of move it using the mod to try and get it into the right spot. It took a while. Uh, which you'll be able to see here. It's really, really great. Then, in the rest of this time lapse, uh, yeah, so we do a bunch of the public transport, and then I lay out a bunch of roads over on the other side as well, and we do actually start on the downtown uh, layout, and it's by no means set in stone. It was just an idea that I had that I thought might be nice and might be a good idea, but I still left the whole downtown relatively empty so that we can, uh, if you guys are like, hey, what about this? This might work better. Then we can sort of go back, revise it and change it up that way. But I just did a, a starting point. So we have at least somewhere to go from uh, in that regard. Now, trying to get this monorail to branch off the road was actually it was actually kind of annoying. Um, so I originally uh, originally was trying to go around that small road. And I thought if I just go up the road and, and go around. Look, it's always going to be a little bit janky uh, when it comes off that road and does that corner. It, like It's a little bit of a sharp turn to get off the road and sort of merge onto the bridge area. But that's just the way it has to be with what we're trying to do with it. So I guess, you know what, we're just going to have to live with it. I, I think it's okay because for the most part, you don't actually see how rough it kind of is. Uh, you know what? No, it's smooth. It's smooth. If I didn't even tell you, you'd be like, wow, that looks really good. It's super smooth. And I'd be like, yeah, I know. I know. I, I did it that way. Anyway, um, yeah, so it goes down this way. Uh, it sort of it, it sort of interacts with the, the tram line that we have underneath, but obviously I don't want it to follow the tram line exactly because then that would make the trams completely pointless to use. You might as well use the monorail, but I'm trying to use the monorail for more long distance travel than uh, the trams, which obviously is supposed to be a shorter distance travel. The trams are supposed to be like semi buses that just have greater capacity. That's kind of the idea of a tram. And as such, when I put the tram line in, I do way more stops. Um, now, I also, yeah, I had to extend one of the, the monorail lines and I, may, I actually went through and like tested it all, uh, which I forgot that I was recording when I tested the entire tram lines. Um, so I cut, uh, not tram, what am I talking about? Monorail lines. So I cut all that out. Like there was so much footage of me just watching the, the monorails go back and forth to make sure they were working properly. Anyway, you might've just missed it, but very quickly I uh, went up to the power station area where we have all the water treatment and the sewage plants because you guys pointed out that the additional power station I put in wasn't actually connected to the grid. And that was the issue with the lack of power we were having, which I totally, I obviously missed. So thanks for that. Uh, thanks for those comments. Thanks to you guys. I got that connected up. Uh, so that we don't have any power issues. Now, uh, the other big thing that I'm working on in this time lapse is obviously some of these roads here, particularly these around here are going onto the bridge because we have that large bridge. It's it's a pretty, look, it's a pretty impressive bridge. Uh, really awesome asset, by the way. Uh, I love it. It's really cool. But yeah, it's like this big bridge that we don't have a super uh, robust or a super strong connection to get to. Like we kind of have it. Like it's okay. The bridge, I, I mean, the bridge isn't supposed to be a high, like a super high capacity highway kind of bridge. Like it's just, you know, from A to B, it's not really a highway. It's kind of more just a main road if you think about it that way. Uh, so I was just making sure we had some good connections to it. And then uh, here is where we eventually start on the downtown. Now, here's the interesting idea that I had. So this road that I'm using is obviously, it's actually, if you can see the look of the icon, it's like a parking lot road. So you're supposed to put a bunch of parking spots next to it on the side of the roads, which obviously I haven't done yet because I didn't want to get completely stuck into putting parking spots everywhere if I didn't want to use this road in the end. But um, I wanted them to actually be pretty low density roads. Like I don't, I didn't really want like six lane roads or four lane roads in the center of the city. I actually wanted it to be pretty, pretty casual. And these roads are, yeah, so obviously it's only one lane each way. The roads are only 40 kilometers an hour. So they're pretty slow. Like I want to keep it pretty, pretty, well, not quiet, but I want it to be, I don't know, just a little, a little nice, a little bit more open. The road, like the roads are obviously very large for a two lane road, but it also has uh, lots of room for expansion. That was the other thing. So it's like, if this ends up not working at all, we can easily, easily change it to a four lane or a six lane road or even an eight lane road. No trouble. Like we just upgrade the road. There won't be any issues with it. Uh, so I was like, you know what? Let's start off with this. And I really like, I like it because it's just, 
I don't know. It just felt more open. I, I thought it, for a place that's going to have really tall buildings, we're going to use a bunch of them from the workshop, obviously, custom buildings and all that. For a place that's going to have huge buildings and all that, it's going to be quite closed in with all these giant buildings. I thought maybe having some open space at the ground level, even if it is just via the roads, having a sort of wider space down the bottom would be quite nice. And I think I think it's going to be a layout that's kind of interesting. Uh, so obviously playing around with the roads here, uh, I quickly realized I didn't really need to split up the road like I did. Because <laughs> you can see I've got these two one-way roads just going in into the same road and I'm like why am I trying to finesse these lanes to work when I didn't need to uh, I think I realized eventually I, I don't know when I do but yeah I basically kept the downtown oh here we go yeah I basically kept the downtown pretty simple I didn't do too much I did add in the highway tunnel uh, from the other side of the bay like where we started off that tunnel from the zoo so I added that in and I also added a big highway connection up to the well, up to the highway on the other side. I also added those two buildings. Just those two. There's nothing else. Uh, those are just two residential buildings. I thought having two residential towers right there on the waterfront seemed quite nice. So I was like, you know what? Why not? I'm going to do it. Uh, and I think they hold like 170 families or something. Something crazy. So a lot of people can live there. Uh, but there's no one living there yet because there's like no services in the area. There's no reason to live there. So they don't. Uh, now, originally... Um, I think, oh, I think we just missed most of the highway construction because it was really fiddly, by the way, trying to get under the water. It took me ages to get a smooth connection. Anyway, so this is the highway that connects up on this side. Uh, and then the other way, as you can see, it sort of tunnels underneath the city, as you can see. Uh, and we'll, as, as per usual, when we get to the, uh, the gameplay or the live gameplay part, we will uh, have a closer look at it so you can see how it all flows. But yeah, this uh, just branches off the highway up the top here and comes down. So this is a connection from the region. And then we have the tunnel that connects over to the other side of the city. Because I think if we didn't have that tunnel connection to the other side of the city under the bay, I think that'd be really bad because try trying to get from one side to the other would be so difficult. But this also gives us... Uh, well, actually, I'm adding basically three highways into the city. I guess three direct routes. Because we have this one here. We have the one under the tunnel. And then we have the highway that actually continues on around uh, past the city, which you'll see me build in a little bit. Uh, like, I haven't done it yet. And I actually, to be fair, it doesn't connect to anything yet. It's still still very much a work in progress, uh, but it's going to connect out. I don't know where the airport's going to go yet either. A lot of you guys are adamant of me not having the airport right forefront in the city. Uh, so we'll probably set it back a little bit. We have a lot of we have a lot of space near the city to sort of put it. Like I don't want to put it far away. I think it should be close to the downtown. Uh, so like we have a lot of space around here. With actually, to be fair, most of this space I actually fill in with roads, which you'll see in a little bit. Like I, I go crazy, I go crazy with roads because I was like, you know what? Let's fill this in because I kind of just wanted to get the ball rolling on all of this, and I really just want to start to get it, get it developing and get it to fill in. So I work on that, uh, and we do. I think. Highway connection wise, I think only three. So we have the entrances and exits in the city, in the downtown area. We have this one here and then one a little further up. Uh, so it's not like overwhelmingly a uh, huge number of highway connections uh, to each of the areas. Like I, I wanted to keep a realistic sort of number. Yeah, so this is the other highway connection I was talking about. So this actually continues around. And then we do like, I, I try and do a, as smooth as possible three-way interchange here. Like I'm, I'm trying to get it to be really flowing and look pretty natural. Uh, did my best. I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good for what it is. Uh, I had to do a lot of move it, like raise it up quite a lot to get it to flow properly. But I think it works quite well. Uh, the only thing, uh, wait, what was I missing? I think there's highway connection somewhere that I'm missing. Or maybe not actually. I think I, I, maybe I did them all. Not on like this, this here I did all of them, but I think on one of the entrances and exits somewhere, I think I didn't do all of them. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to find out at some point, but for the most part, it's pretty good. So actually, the, the tram as well, which I think should be in this time lapse, the tram that we have built currently, that I run all the way down to the city. It goes all the way down to the beachfront and then sort of loops and comes back for now. But we'll probably continue it on around if we expand the city that way a little bit. Um, you'll see it as we get to it eventually. I think, yeah, so this road here uh, this is my second sort of main road through the area. And I think that's the one that I connect the tram to. And then this is where I do another little highway connection because I thought, especially because we have an industrial area there just underneath the, the, the Bay Bridge, I thought we should probably have a highway connection somewhere near it. So that's going to go over here. You'll note that I didn't do any direct connections of major roads. Like there's no large avenue that connects directly to that bridge, like the, the Bay Bridge, because I didn't really want people... I didn't really want traffic getting off the highway, 
then using the bridge to get to where they go they're going like they should just use the highway to get to either side of the bridge and you're only really using the bridge if you're going between the two areas and not coming off the highway then using the bridge because well it might sound confusing me trying to explain it but i don't want highway traffic or regional traffic to exit the highway come through the city go over the bridge that way they should always just exit on whichever side they need to be on because the reason for that is we don't really have good infrastructure either side of it <laughs> like, it's just not very good like if we can divert traffic other ways and get them to use a different route uh, a more preferred route then that's what we're going to do and i think w what i've done like i haven't noticed any issues uh and with traffic like it this well i mean to be fair this area is still pretty empty it's pretty pretty empty but so far, there's no, not been any, like, traffic issues or major problems. Uh, but obviously, some of those might crop up as we keep going. But we'll have to wait and see. So, unfortunately, I couldn't have the trams. The, the, the tram line didn't turn around in the, the tram depot, which kind of sucked. So I had to do that little turn around there, which is fine. But uh, we'll have to decorate that up to make it look a little bit nicer because it's just a, having little blank loops don't look that great. But yeah, you can see the tram line I connected up to that main boulevard road. And then here is where I'm sort of just filling in all these other blocks this is going to be probably a lot of residential some commercial uh sort of littered in here and out we'll probably get commercial along the tram road uh because that makes the most sense with it, having the public transport on it and then the rest is going to be pretty much medium density housing until we get closer to the city then it'll move into higher density higher density and just sort of slope up as we get toward the city and just get taller buildings that way uh but yeah it's like you know what I, this is all going to be pretty much a grid based area uh, obviously not a strict grid like you can see there's like some variances here and there uh but that's what it was going to be i was like that's not going to be that much fun to watch me just place a bunch of roads uh, and there was a, like a lot of me when i was doing this i was like mm, uh, uh, do i want a road here uh, and we all know how much fun that is to watch because a lot of you guys are like wow welcome to let's road with flabaliki this episode placing roads so you know yeah i mean look to be fair city skylines is pretty much the game is pretty much placing roads or placing props. Like that's that's to be fair, is pretty much what it is. But <laughs> but a lot of the time, there's more there's more fun versions that we can do in real time. Some more fun things we can do. But yeah, this whole area is probably going to take a while to fill in. Uh, and I know some people might suggest, oh, I should get like Demand Master or something and just force the demand to fill it all in. But then that can actually break a lot of the uh, supply and demand in the rest of the city, and then it just leads to more problems down the line. So. I thought we'd try and do it as organically as possible, try and grow the area uh, that way. Uh, but yeah, so I left the downtown, like basically what I'm doing right now, by the way, is I'm actually just placing buildings. I'm trying to create a power grid bridge to, to power the buildings in the downtown area. Just trying to bridge the network a little bit. Uh, so that's that's what I'm trying to do there. Uh, so I'm just getting a strip of buildings to, to get the power to connect. But I didn't do any of the downtown area because I really want to get feedback on that before I get stuck into it completely. But that's it for the time lapse. Let's go ahead and jump into the game. All right. So this is what it looks like. Uh, basically, like I said, just a bunch of gridded roads uh, all along there. And this is just the beginning of the downtown. There's obviously not the whole thing. I'll sort of extend this way a little bit more too. But that's the beginning of it. This is kind of the idea. Uh, have this really nice waterfront road that's pretty low density. And I think it's quite nice. And the fact that just get a little benches here and we could add a bunch of parking. Obviously, we could add a park here as well along the beach. Uh, that was kind of the idea to keep it really like... It shouldn't... I don't think it should be a huge downtown. Like it shouldn't be massive or colossal. It should be big, but not not crazy, I don't think. And that's kind of, I think, the feel I'm going for, which is also why I like this road. The only thing I don't like about the road is it's a completely different color to all the other roads. But, I mean, that's a it's a minor a minor inconvenience. But now, if we have a look at all this, uh, I just want to show you the uh, tunnel. I think if I do this, it'll be easier. Here we go. So, the uh, yeah, I continued the highway from over here, over by the zoo. It continues all the way underneath. I added uh, the connection ramps underneath here as well, so you can enter... Uh, well, exit from this way. Actually, you can't enter that way. I need to add a... Oh, that's why I didn't do it, because it was really confusing, because it's really close there, so I can't do a ramp there. I'd have to go, like, all the way around. I'm... It was going to be really messy. Anyway, I need to add an entrance there. We do have an exit, though. Anyway, so this goes underneath... Oh, no, that burnt down. That's so sad. We'll, we'll fix that in a minute. This goes underneath. The reason I didn't record this is because I had to figure out how to get... It, it has to go all the way down, gets to the bottom, then eventually comes back up this way. It was, it was pretty annoying. Uh, then... You might be noticing all these ramps are going to all different places. Basically, the idea was I wanted to have 
the exit load and entrance load of the highway separated out a bit so it's not all concentrated in one place like I usually have been saying throughout the series. Like, I want the stuff to be spread out. So we have the first exit from this direction there. We have the entrance to go the other way here. The exit coming toward the city is just here. And then the entrance to go out of the city is here. Well, the exit to go out of the city is there. So that is how that works. And then I quite like the look of this. It's a nice big sweeping interchange. Uh, I want to get some... That's what I want to do maybe in this section now. We need industrial, like quite a bit of industrial. And I'm thinking probably the, the other side of this highway. Uh, probably, I don't want to squeeze it in here, I don't think. I mean, maybe we could do it around here. Even on the hill. No, nah, see, actually, you know what? I don't want to... I don't want to do the same thing I did over there. I don't want to have industry on the hillside again because that doesn't look very good. And I think we kind of need to change that because we got this big, beautiful hill and it's just filled with horrible, polluting factories up there. Uh, so I think maybe we won't do that. I think over the other side is probably the way to go. Uh, so this whole side is like nice and clean and then the other side of the highway is a little bit dirty. You can even go up this way a little bit. Uh, maybe even come around here. Now, as for the airport, uh, I'm thinking we go... Let's have a look. So airport... Oh, I haven't unlocked the international one yet, but let's just say this one. Uh, it would go... Either it's probably somewhere up here, up the coast. Uh, it'd be a little bit bigger than that, though. It could go up the coast. It could go like it could go even up here. Like it's not too like it's technically not that far from the city because it's just down the highway. We could do it up here somewhere, or we could do it a little bit closer, like here. Maybe even bring out a little bit of land, have it there, or something like that. I don't know. It's somewhere nearby. I don't want it too far off. That's the plan with that. Uh, yeah, I think that's kind of it. So I think I want to do... Let's get some industrial over the other side. I think that's probably going to be a good idea and a good place to put it. So I want to get this road here. I'm going to come over this way. Let's go straight to the ground where it makes the most sense. Hang on, let's go like this. Let's go flat to that. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Let's go like that. Nice. All right, so that'll continue that. Good. So uh, I think if we go... In here, there's like a little divot here. That's actually quite good. Let's go up there. Let's use a road that's a little bit more, a little bit more rural, rural. The rural Jura. It's the road I want to use. I don't think there's. See, I want a, I want a large road that's kind of low density, but that doesn't really exist. Oh, I didn't uninstall. Oh, I didn't turn off the parallel road mod. I guess it's not the worst thing, but that does, it does contribute a little bit of lag. I think, you know what, let's just use this. The, I really wish there was a version of this road that didn't have all the concrete. Like, it was just the four-lane road, just with no pathways, no median strip. So it sort of just blended in with the terrain. Because so I think that would be such a good, like, uh, rural sort of version of this road. Now this is going to go out here and just go like this, I guess. Now. Something like that. Now, what is that? Is that, uh, what resource is that? Is that like farmland or something? Oh, no, it's oil. We could do an oil industry here. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Why don't we do oil here? Let's, let's do it. Uh, I'm going to use the small roads. I'm not going to do any parking on them. I'm going to do the small roads just because I feel like it. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. So, hey, welcome. <laughs> what did I say before? Hey guys, probably here today. Welcome back to Let's Road. Uh, no, wait. Le, le, uh, cities, roads, lines. I don't know. Can I get a 90 degree angle on this road? Or is that just not possible? I really wish you'd always try and snap to a 90 degree angle. Because it would make my life a little bit easier. I don't know why I want it to be so perfect. But I do. Right, that's going to go there. That can come through here. One thing that I haven't actually done. Uh, I didn't figure out how to get the railway over here. Because we do have... The, the regional rail line is here. So it goes down here, you can see, bah, 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 it curves around, tunnels, and goes out that way. That's the only line that we have. There's nothing over this side, so we need to branch off that rail at some point. Probably, like, I don't think I want to use the existing branch that we already have. Because that sort of already feeds this whole area. I think I want to branch off further back, maybe. Maybe back here, and then it'll come here. I guess probably tunnel a little bit, bridge, and then it's like a whole thing. Like, it's a huge undertaking just to get the rail over here. Uh, but I think we're going to probably want it, so... That will be coming down the pipelines. Uh, so we'll, you know, keep an eye out for that. So we want to have... Actually, I should probably have a look at what industry we kind of need. Because we have a little bit of oil already, I think, do we? I think in the existing... It was over here. Yeah, so there's a little bit of oil there. We have some logging. We could probably use more logging. I think I added some more in here, actually. I zoned some more. I might actually do a little bit more, too. 
Actually, you know what? I might use I might use those roads. I like I like those better. Which is is it this one? Two lane plain street. Without sidewalks, but available with parking spaces to support local traffic. I think this one. Yep, that's my one. <laughs> my one that I edited. Okay, that's what I want. So this one, because we get traffic in both directions instead of being one way. And I think it looks a little bit more a little bit more rural, which is kind of what I'm going for anyway. Alright, so we're gonna get out some uh, basically just industrialize this area. I don't think I want it like as dense as I'm doing it right now, but also whatever. We got a little bit of commercial here because I think it's always good to have some shops sort of nearby to industrial. And then we'll also get like a fire department, because that's probably important. Hmm, can't fit that there. You know what? Might be a good idea to just get some garbage treatment out here too, because we actually don't have enough garbage in the city at the moment. Garbage processing anyway. Which is probably going to prove to be an issue. So let's just chuck some out here. Uh, I'm going to get a road this way. No, this way. It's going to be back here, actually. So this going to be a garbage facility just here, because it's just outside of the, uh, the oil area, so we don't lose any of the oil land, which is good, because we don't want to do that. So we're going to get out some recycling plants here. Obviously, there's no power over here yet. Oh, actually, there's probably not any water there either. Although, I think the recycling plants power themselves once they get garbage, because they're... Oh, no, is that the burning one? Maybe just the burning ones do that. So that's there. Uh, power. Well, I'm going to take the power from here. And then hopefully in a second, we will bridge it over. Now, if they could somehow build there, that'd be great. I bet they won't, though. Right, so I think I just want to try and bridge the power to that point. So let's have a look. So we've got the main road. Well, actually, the, I guess technically our main road at the moment is where, where the tram is. That's what I want to keep as a fairly main road. That's why there's a lot of commercial along it. And I think moving up this way can be some residential. So I might do this, even onto this road, and get some, some commercial, maybe some high density. Maybe an office or two around here. It's all it's supposed to be like a completely mixed use space all around here. So we'll do that. Now what what are we lacking? Uh we have a hospital, death care is covered, fire department's covered, police is covered. We've actually kind of got every single service here, which is pretty good. We just don't have parks. So <laughs> that's uh we should probably actually use park life at some point. Uh that's what this series is called, but you know, I mean we don't really do that much. I'm gonna use a large park, maybe. Maybe here. Maybe at the end of that road right there. Let's do that. Not It's not too near all this, but it should cover a decent sized area. And then maybe get like a little playground in one of these little smaller sections somewhere. Maybe on this road somewhere. How about there? It's a nice little spot for one. Now hopefully this should all start bridging together a little bit as we go. And then going to get some high density housing through most of this area. Which will hopefully just fill in. We'll get some commercial around, probably around this park area. But then I think I want most of this larger avenue, or larger boulevard, to be residential until it gets to this point. Just because I think that makes sense. Alright, so that should have connected most of the power. Problem is, they're not building there, which is like where the power is. So if someone could just, just build like something there, that'd be great. Have a little store. Just build there, because then that will, that will solve everyone's problems. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Nah, alright. How about a park? <laughs> cool. Thanks, game. How about we do... Uh, oh no, they built there. That should actually have power now. Good. I also... Oh, we don't even need that. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> you are the weakest link. Goodbye. So that is now there. Did that truck just drive straight across? Is that what just happened? Ah, oh, man. Okay. They're, they're being dumb. Right, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're just going to disallow that, because that's stupid. I think they're doing it because... No, I don't know. It makes no sense, because it is slower, and you also have to go through a set of traffic lights. I was just thinking maybe the physical distance is technically shorter, which it is, but it also makes no sense. So, in that case, I just say, nah, can't go straight. Sorry, left or right. You can't go straight across. Sorry, mate. Anyway, that'll, that'll stop them doing that. Okay, so that should be good. Uh, so then this is all going to fill in. Now, I don't think we have that many people on the ferries anymore, which is a little bit of a shame. And by not many people, we have zero people, as you saw. Zero. Because they now all use the monorail, which just makes way more sense. We have 122 people here waiting for the monorail. Uh, here comes one now. 
199 coming down here. Like, it's a, it's great. It's a really well-used system. And I really like it, but it's kind of sad that it killed the, the fairy. I did, however, do prefer fairies on a policy on here. So I was hoping that that would get them to prefer it, but I guess no one really wants to go here. So, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we should- maybe if we did a direct line to the zoo, instead of having to go via that, that might be the go-ahead. Alright, line details. I'm gonna remove one of these now, because clearly no one's using them. How about this line? I don't think there's many- any, anyone using- no, no one's using this anymore either. Right, we'll keep two on each line. We'll keep two on each line. And they're not particularly useful, but I like them. And then we'll go here. We go straight across to, to the zoo. I think maybe someone will use this one. I like that I'm remaining hopeful. I am remaining hopeful, but I also don't think it's going to be particularly, <laughs> particularly well used. Did that complete? How did that not complete the line? Oh, it did. Okay, good. So that's that. Now that should be spawning a new fairy any second now. Oh, wait, no, I don't think there's any fairies on the line, actually. Da, 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 da. Alright, here we go. Anyone waiting to use this fairy? No, cool. Let's add, add two fairies. Well, maybe they'll use it. So now, hey, it, it's good. You can get from any of these fairy terminals to any of the others directly. I mean, surely this one's going to be useful. Because you get from there to there without... Because at the moment you can do it with the monorail, but you have to go all the way around. It's not convenient. It's not. So maybe this will be. I don't know, that's what I haven't actually figured out. I don't know where the monorail is going to go. Because it goes here, obviously there's some buildings in the way, we're pulling out the demolish those. I think we'll have to go on top of the road. Or we go through some of these buildings go along this road. But it's too close to the tram. And I, I don't really know where to take it. Maybe I went the wrong way with the monorail. Maybe the monorail actually needs to go this way, come out. Go around. Go up this way maybe. And then come into the city. I don't know, let me know. At the moment, this is what it does. I'm thinking- well, the current plan- okay, the plan is either we go up and around, like here, or we continue along the waterfront here. And then there'll be like a terminal here somewhere, maybe before we get to the downtown. Because I don't think we can get directly in the middle, it's gonna be too hard. I think maybe we stop here somewhere. Could work. Now, is anyone living in these yet? No, we've still got zero people living in these. Because it's just, uh, low land value, and fire hazard is apparently very high. I'm not sure how, because it's got great fire coverage, actually. What if we get this large fire station? Let's just put this here. Maybe they'll be happy about it. There is 30 fire engines that you can use in that place. Okay, there's no fire hazard now. <laughs> it's gone. So hopefully that, I mean, that surely that's going to bring up the land value, right? Or maybe we just need way better of all of this stuff. We could do, um... I said, like I said, I didn't want to do too much here, but maybe we could do a university. Because that would obviously help a lot. University main campus. How about we just do like a big university building? No, that doesn't really, I don't really like that. What about this? What is this? How about, is there like a tall, do I have a skyscraper university in here? No, see I don't have any tall buildings. We have old buildings, which is pretty nice. Um, but I don't think old buildings particularly suit this city at all. <laughs> like, at all. Uh, okay, I'm gonna assume this is university. Why don't we just do a university around here somewhere? Let's do it like, let's just put it there for now. Sure. Because I think we have a, we have a, yeah, we have a tram stop right there, so that's convenient. Um, alright, that'll go there for now. I'm just trying to see if we can increase the, uh, this place here. High school, university's up there. Elementary is pretty crap at the moment. Um, fair enough. So these buildings have a- oh yeah, no, fair enough, there's nothing here. We can use these, um... I might even just... Can I just intersect it at the back? It might- it might look okay. No, I think- I think that looks fine, having them there. Alright, so that's there. That should- yep, beautiful. Police is pretty low. Uh, do we have a- I oh, see, I don't have any tall police buildings. I have a Japanese police station. See, the thing is, we've got a lot of these, like, sort of low-density buildings that are just... Pretty good, but not particularly tall. So, I don't know what we're going to do about that. Land value progress. How do we still have low land? <laughs> like how it's like, land value progress, 100%. Low land value. Good. Uh, let's have a look. So, what is this? Levels. I want to go land value. It's pretty lame. I think, I literally think... It has nothing to do with any of those things, and I think we just need to do, like, monuments. 
uh, because I don't think any of that stuff is making any difference. <laughs> I really don't think it is. I think we just need to do some of these. Uh, let's go for... What do we have? Do we have... We're going to get some just tall building ones. See, I don't think that these count, though, if they're... These kind of building, If they're like the Rico ones. I mean, maybe they do. Alienware center thing? Sure. What does this look like if we put that there? That actually looks kind of cool there. An Alienware building. Does that count as land value? I don't know. Uh, the problem with this is it's obviously a bloody car park there. It's a good building though. Maybe do it this way. And the trees are going over the road. It's kind of a hard building to place. Was that the roadside there? I guess so. It's probably not. I might need to remove the trees from this prop. Which if we... Mm, see, it doesn't look good that way, does it? Damn it, I like it there, but the road's overlapping it. Damn it! Go away. Alright. Sorry. You gotta go, bro! Oh, we gotta figure out where to put a stadium on all that, too. Wait, how is this football? Pink casino counts as football. Okay. If you say so. Boat museum. Ooh. You have a boat museum right here? Would they like that? I mean, they did. How does that not have road access? What a liar. Okay, how close to the road does this have to be? <laughs> how does that not have road access? You're such a... D <laughs> I hate you. Let me just try and move it closer like this. There you go, okay, that counts. There you go, there's a boat museum. How's the land value now? I bet that's made it better. Actually, I think that made it worse. <laughs> there's like an area around that just made it worse. Uh land value is good around this. What is this? That's not anything. Those are just random buildings. Why is that, why is there a good bit of land value there? Cause this isn't it around Why is that good too? It's just like random spots. It's all good. I'm pretty sure it's just parks, right? Zoo sucks. I think we just need more parks. Maybe. Let's do a normal park and see what it does. I, I don't know why I don't know this. Guys, I, I honestly don't know why. It's like three years this game has been out. How do I not know this? This should be obvious to me. What if I just shove a plaza in the building? Did that, not, did that make any difference or did it... Because here's the thing. We can easily do these and I think overlap the buildings and it'll look fine because it's like... It's just a plaza. You know what I mean? So we could just do, like, do that. Just like looks like part of the grounds around it. I think that I did actually make a difference. So that's pretty good. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that for now. Um, although, oh no, those, I was gonna say those trees are coming through the building, but no, they're not. They're actually part of the building because this building has it too. Got a couple of schools around the back. Look at that, beautiful. Does anyone live here yet? No, zero people live here. God damn it! Transport is nothing. Uh, I guess probably like a bus line getting up to there would be what you want to do. I don't know. Does anyone use this ferry? Oh my god, there's one person on it. <gasps> there's 31 people on this one. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe there's people using this ferry line. How exciting. No one, no one waiting at the moment though. Occasionally. Occasionally people use it. I guess it doesn't have a very easy connection over there. We should probably do like a shuttle bus or something. Let me just do that. Let's see, let's do like a little literal shuttle bus, and that's all it's going to do. It's going to go from here, with all the, the monorail stops in the zoo, down to the ferry. Oh, actually, I see the issue. Oh, God, that's not a good... Yeah, okay, here's the issue, because the turn is before the turn off. So, shuttle bus doesn't actually work very well. Um, we'd need a road that then is able to get down here. Huh. Alright, well, there's your problem. Maybe have... a road here, I guess. There's a lot of roads in this area, man. A lot of roads. But, I guess you gotta do... what you gotta do. Oh, is that gonna look so bad, though, isn't it? I mean, I guess we could just turn this to go the other way, to be fair. That would probably be the easiest solution. 
and then just have that turn in that way instead. Because then the bus can go that way and come around. Yeah, okay, that works better. <laughs> it just works a lot better this way. I think it's a lot easier. Okay, turn snapping back on, please. There we go. Alright, so here's the thing. I don't think these guys need to cut across 50 lanes here. You guys go there and there. You go here and here. Because you can change lanes later on if you really need to. I think these guys here, though... If you wanted to turn left is a slight issue. You know what, these actually might need to cut across. Because they might need to turn left. So. And especially actually if they have the bus going there. Yeah, okay. Alright, whatever. That should be fine. Um, right, bus. Shuttle bus. Hooray! I wonder if anyone will use this. Probably not, but let's find out. Oh, let's just stop there. That's annoying. Bus line 11. Shuttle bus zoo. The zoo bus! Zero people! What about, uh, what bus can we do? We can do like a, Greyhound seems a little excessive. The double decker? Although I think the double, well, the double decker is right hand drive though, that doesn't work. I downloaded the wrong one and I never changed it. And I don't know why. I don't know why I never went back and fixed it. But I never did. Let's just do a biofuel bus, we'll do one. We obviously only need one bus, it's such a short route. It just does that. I wonder if anyone's actually gonna use it. It'll be interesting. <laughs> it would be interesting. But anyway, there it is. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is... That's good, it's filling in quite nicely. I think... I wanna make sure that this doesn't all look exactly the same. Because, um, first of all, there's already a lot of buildings that look exactly the same. Uh, we need to hopefully get a good looking medium density area approaching the city. Uh, and then I gotta try and get the stupid land value to increase here, because no one's living here. <laughs> no one lives here! Uh, there's a slight issue. What about traffic? Oh, this is- This is already heavy, but that's just because of the highway tunnel. And to be fair, if I, if I wanted to rectify that, I could actually just have an exit tunnel that just comes up over here. Let's take it further. Uh, although, to be fair, like, that's not- it's not really traffic, they're just- It's just cars on the road. Anyway, um, I'm gonna leave this part here. Oh, yeah, I did actually name all the areas. I don't know if you guys even noticed that, and I didn't even bring it up. But we have, uh, Turon there, uh... Tarlo, uh, obviously that area is not named. Oh, I didn't even. Pff. How long was it before you guys were going to tell me that I didn't make this actual oil industry? Now the really annoying thing is that's all going to despawn. I guess the good thing is that that's the wrong industry. The good thing is that there's no one working there anyway, so no one's losing their jobs. Um, yeah, we're going to name that. I don't think that's named either yet. Uh, what else did I name? Hathead, Oxley, Imlay, Morton. I think all of those were named because I hadn't named them yet. I don't know if there's, I don't know if there's anything else. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's all that. Anyway, leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. We'll be back next time. Uh, I might just time lapse the filling in of this area though, because I think this is going to take five thousand years if we if we do it part by part. So, but I think you get the idea of my goals for this section uh, and where we're going with it. So yeah, make sure to let me know what you think of the downtown and the plans for it. I mean. All of this might even change. I don't know. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And have an awesome day.